Sir, how are you feeling? Same old, same old. Go get my cell phone. Bai Chu is gonna give Sheng Min a hard time. I gotta give her a heads up. Sir, Miss Sheng Min came yesterday. What? Where is she now? Miss Sheng Min came to borrow money. The lady didn't let her in, and she kneeled at the gate all night. Not sure if she's still there. What? Where is she? Sweetheart. Had I known that she'd be treated this way, I wouldn't have asked her to marry Yan Cheng. She's such a great girl. Look how she suffered. Sweetheart, can you hear me? How are you feeling? Grandpa, can you lend me a million? My dad needs surgery. I will pay you back. Come on, kid. What do you mean by lend? I'll wire you the money right now. We're saved. That's finally saved. Hello? Miss Shang Min, your father suddenly got worse. We... we couldn't save him. Sulan? My... where's my dad? Sent to be cremated. You didn't get the money in time. There's no one else to blame. Sulan. How could you do that? I didn't get to see him for the last time. How could you cremate him? I am his wife. I call the shots. Although, there is one way if you want to see him. Transfer all your shares and assets into my account and divorce Fu Yan Cheng. Then I'll let you see your dad. Sulan. Sheng Mie, your dad's dead. And Fu Yan Cheng's divorcing you. What else can you do? Take my advice and be smart. Don't do anything stupid. Dad, I'm so sorry. I didn't even say goodbye to you. Dad! From the very beginning, you played innocent. Then you played hard to get. And now you and your husband ganged up to trick me. What the hell do you take me for? Our cooperation ends here. I'll still pay you. But from now on, I don't want to have anything to do with you. If that's the case, it'll be for the best. Yan Cheng. You've been sitting here all morning. Have some coffee and take a break. This young man is such a bad penny. In that case, I'll just have to crush her last hope. Xiao Yue, I need you to do something. That baby Xing Mian's having can no longer stay. Babe, Mummy's got no father now. You are all I have. Are you Sheng Mian? Who are you? What do you want? You messed with the wrong person. Don't ask. Mr. Fu's order. The baby and her can no longer stay. You! No! Oh, don't hurt my baby, Lee, please. You might want to ask Mr. Fu if he agrees. What? She's bleeding! What are you waiting for? Run! Fu Yanchen, you are cruel. You have to crush my last hope on Earth? Sorry. The subscriber you dialed is busy now. Please dial again later. Sorry. The subscriber you dialed is busy now. Is she really that cold? 
Not even answering my call? Stop the car. Penny. She was very weak to begin with and then got severely beaten. Therefore, I'm afraid she's going to lose her baby. I just want her to be safe. The baby is not important. I told you to call Liang Hanchen, did you? He should be on his way now. Penny! Penny, what happened? What kind of husband are you? You can't even protect your own wife. Even if you don't like her. You don't care about your baby either. Baby? Things are getting serious now. If I keep on lying... Mr. Fu, I'll tell you the truth now. Actually, I... Which one's Sheng Mian's family? She's in a critical condition now. We need her family to sign. Show me. How... How is that possible? Mr. Fu, don't you know? Sheng Mian is Penny's real name. Also, I'm not really her husband. Penny is... Show me. Which one is the family? We need you to sign or we won't be able to proceed. Penny's father is sick. She does have a husband, but he's a jerk. He doesn't care about her. What do I do? Sign where? You are? I'm her husband. Here. Fu Yancheng is Penny's husband. So I just called him a jerk? Mr. Fu, since you're here, I'll excuse myself. If she's Sheng Min, why wouldn't she tell me? Why did she lie? The patient is out of danger now. The baby's fine too. Although, with the mother being so weak, it's quite a miracle that a two-month-old fetus managed to stay safe. Two months? Mr. Fu, wasn't that the night when you just got home? Have you checked out who hurt her? It's Miss Chu Chen. I need to go home. Take care of her for me. Don't worry. I'll do my best to take care of the missus. Dad, do you really agree to Yan Cheng's divorce and marrying Chu Qin? I will find Sheng Mian a better marriage. Once he leaves her, he can marry whoever he wants. Otherwise, do you expect me to watch you torture her some more? Yan Cheng! Grandpa agreed to your divorce. We can get married. Yan Cheng, what are you doing? Why did you do that to Chu Qin? She knows exactly why I did that to her. Yan Cheng, what are you talking about? You hired people to get rid of Sheng Min's baby, did you not? What? Get rid of Sheng Min's baby? Xiao Chu Qin, a young girl as you are, how could you be so vicious? It's not me! Xiao Yue and those thugs have confessed already. What? You are still trying to deny? Yan Cheng, don't you hate Sheng Mian? Don't you want to divorce her? I was just helping you! Who said I wanted a divorce? Xiao Chu Qin, who do you think you are? Stay away from my business, okay? Yan Cheng! Mr. Liu, give her to the police. Tell her family. If anyone dares to bail her out, we will break off every cooperation with them.